What's going on guys? This is Nothing But Bread here and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up bot lobbies in NBB's XP Lobby version 2.3.1. In order to do this, what you're going to need to do is to first inject the menu, either the source or the compiled version, and then enable force host in a custom game. Once you do that, you're going to make your way to the main menu, um, the main multiplayer screen, and then invite a few of your friends that you want to benefit from the bot lobby. In this case, I filled up a party of six with people. And yeah, what you're then going to want to do is to, if you want to, if you're injecting the source, you're going to want to do is to add the players in your lobby to the whitelist. You don't have to add yourself, but you're going to want to add the players in your whitelist. If you can't do this because you've injected the compiled uh, the compiled version that's okay I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in game but it's far easier just to add them to the whitelist via the config file if you choose to do this be sure to inject it right after but this will make it a little bit easier down the line okay so once you've done this you can then go into um, game you're gonna want to search up demolition once you found your way into a demolition lobby you can first check the map that you get if you get a map, if you if none of the maps you have have a lot of entities on the map, such as cars, other things that you can move around in forge mode, then you're gonna want to back out and find a different um, map. The goal is is to find a map such as cargo, such as cargo, nuketown. Those maps have a lot of entities that you can drag around and raid. These things you can drag around and block out objectives because if you don't and you get a map that doesn't have these uh, things you can drag around the map in forge mode it's basically you have a 50 50 chance of getting on the right team and if you have plenty of entity to drag around you guarantee that you can set up the game and not have any issues throughout the game now once you get the map that you want be sure to vote for it and then let the game start another thing i want i want to note um, you're gonna want to have everyone's clan tag be the same if you did not set the uh if you did not configure the people that you have in your party to the whitelist because it's going to make it far easier to uh whitelist them in game i've learned this the hard way so consider doing that once you spawn in the game what you're going to first want to do if you decided to not um configure the whitelist ahead of time is immediately go to the uh is to see if the clients menu is glitched out or not once everyone um, spawns in, check the clients menu. If not everyone's entity appears, just go to the debug menu and fix the player menu via the command, and then go back to the clients menu. And then what you're going to want to do from there is to go to each client that was in your party and uh, go and select the whitelist option for each one of them. Once you do that, then this is where both the, uh, if you've set up the whitelist ahead of time and what we're doing now come together. What you're going to want to do is go to general of the general lobby settings, what it's called, and then enable the whitelist from there. Once you do that, you're going to want to go to all player and then um, run the whitelist check, which is the top option in the all clients menu. Now, everybody except for the members of your party should now remain in the game, and you should have an empty enemy team. Now, what you're going to want to do is to realize what team you're on. If you are defending the objective, you're going to you're going to want to immediately turn on forge mode and drag objects around the map to block out the objectives to drag them through. I have to do this in this video. If you're on the attacking team that is the objectives are in orange, you unlock and you don't have to do anything regarding the, you can just leave them wide open since as long as you don't touch the objectives, the bots won't ever go towards the objectives. Once you fix the objectives, if you need to, or if you don't have to do that because you're on the attacking team, what you're then going to want to do is go to the bot lobby menu and get your team name. The team names can be kind of funky. You're either on the allies team or the access team. And once you get your team, if say you're on the uh, on the access team, you're going to want to spawn the bots on the um, allies team and vice versa. That way they spawn on the opposing team. And then you're going to want to go and switch the bot's team to that. By default, it's set to auto sign. Use the toggle to adjust the team on. They get, they get put on. And then once that's done, 
simply go and press the start bot lobby option and then sit back and enjoy the bot lobby. Be sure the players that are in the lobby you know, are prepared and have their classes set up and then they just start using them and start killing the bots. It's really that simple to sit back, control the spawns, if you control the spawns, player deaths are reduced and you just kill the bots faster. If need be, you might want to turn on the aimbot and wipe the bots if need be. So anyway guys, that will be it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill. And I hope to see you guys in another one of my videos soon. Peace out. Well, anyway, there's some bloopers coming up here in a second, so enjoy those funny bloopers. And I'll show you guys why you should have everyone have a clan tag, the same clan tag, if you choose to uh, whitelist them in-game instead of out-of-game. Peace out. What's going on guys? This is Nothing With Red here, and today, I'm going to be showing Now, once you're done doing that, what you're then going to want to do is... Uh, now, what you're going to want to do is to go to the bot lobby functions and get your team name. A team name is Allies. And what, then, what you're going to want to do is toggle the new bot's team and make sure it's on the opposing team. Which in this case, it's the uh, Axis team. And then press uh, Bot Lobby. And now we should be, uh... Just, hey, be, uh, I wanna stay near the bomb. Stay near A-bomb. Just that guy. Just stay near A-bomb, okay? You don't wanna rush the 